from Sri Radha Sudhanidhi. This book, Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi, consists of Sri Pada's prayers. Can you do this? Can that That everybody has to do this. Facing that way. Little facing that way. This book, Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi, consists of Sri Pada's prayers in both Sadaka Vesha. What is Sadaka Vesha? My physical identity. In this body, the consciousness. I'm normally in my body and senses and mind, normal, my stage. It will help you. Don't need to do anything. Listen from this process. What you are, no need to change it. Try to listen. By listening of the prayer of six Ushamis, like that. Only listening. Problem is this we are listening, but material things. Never listen about this, about the prayer. What prayer? They are living in that prayer. Only listen to that. By listening their thing, maybe our desire will happen like this. Mainly, it will, greed will come inside. So easy process. But listening was full art listening. And one listening, like a Caesar, cutting listening. One listening is, body is there but not listening. My physical body is there, but I am thinking something else, is not listening. Listen. In your sadhak there, in your normal condition, how they pray? <coughs> that listen with open heart. Yeah. This book, Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi, consists of Sri Pada's prayers in both Sadaka Avesh, the external consciousness of a practicing devotee, and in Siddha Avesh, the internal consciousness in which he is aware of his eternal spiritual body as a mate. Consciousness, always we listen. 
we have to be aware with your conscious awareness. That soul also exists. And somebody says, soul exists, and there is no form. You see this two ball? I see from ten years they are existing here. Two balls are there. One day I ask, do you have any relation with the big ball? <laughs> no relation. Why? Because they are both giving light. Light has no relation. Soul, if you give light, it is only spark. It cannot relate. It can give a spark for life. No relation. But same way one person, physically conscious person, if you have a form, you relate sometime in life or not. Relation only change happens when there is a form. That is a personal. And when is not a form, impersonal. When we not come to the form, is impersonal. So what we are practicing to be impersonal, because we believe in the spark and the light, without form. But really, by the grace of mercy, <coughs> I've been living with outside and inside as a form. Without form, you're not make relation. Your wife, your children, external form, and they become very close and personal to you. Similarly, soul has also form. How this form comes? By my devotion, with, by my love, they create the form. Like Jesus, Take the example of Jesus. He, how he said that I am a son of you. Because he is an inner form of son, an inner form that you are my father. Inner form. Why he identified as a son? Because this was the form of the soul. So soul has a form with, for the relation, divine relation. And this relation is become divine. Reality is something else, but originally he accepts like this himself. That's a spiritual form. So when you are really, devotion will start. When you have a form, you are not an impersonal. Then you can exchange your love. Understand? So what benefit will happen with listening? <coughs> Who has the realization of his spiritual form? When you will listen to them 
I am normally in my material consciousness, but I have a relation with my material body to the material person in relation. And when you will identify slowly with your practice, what practice you feel best in your life and reliable, that will increase in your life. Inner that you have to watch for, to see on it. That is only my prayer. Goswamis are praying like this for us, guiding the way. Simple. It is not complicated. With the material form you develop relation. Right. And this relation works also. And in spiritual form you can develop relation. Why Prabhupada writing in one phase twenty two times about the relation? <coughs> Why? Because without relation, nothing is cast. You will become religious if you have no relation. Relation only works. Relation gives you the feeling and attachment. This is the beauty of relation. I attach with my table chairs because I have a relation, this is mine. But when you have a relation with your heart and soul with something, it will create form for this relation. That has to be. Sometimes we will see him in the fortunate condition of having direct transcendental communion with Sri Radhika. Meeting directly seen. Yes, without relation. Based on relation. Prabhupada in Bhagavad Gita he said, this is very elaborated subject. It's all books. Is only mentioned about relation. How much you close with your relation, with your feeling, you see very clear. <coughs> relation is passive relation. If passive, you do not see very clear. Active, you start looking little clear. Friend, you start looking more better clear. Son, you look very clear. Very clearly, you can feel son. Your daughter. He not bother for you. She not bother for you. But you have always problem to think for her. It's realized. Why you are bothering? When they no bother for you, what I do is my realization. <coughs> my mind catching like this, what I can do. 
more close relation than you can love. She has a headache, she has a pain, your mind will not be peaceful. And he has some trouble, your mind is not happy to do other things, you want to care. Why? Because of relation. I want to say to my mind, forget this. You give already mentioned it will be good. But mind is not peaceful. Oh, behind relation is the meaning. What is the behind thing? My relation. It's not going out from my mind. How I can stop it? Can you give me some advice? It's because of the relation. The relation is so beautiful subject, you cannot imagine. See the beauty of your life. And what is Radhika? Radha, if you change the word, it becomes Dhara. Dhara. Dhara is a flow. Some river you see is flowing, that is a dhara in Hindi. And radha means flow is not flowing in lower side. Upstream. It's flowing up. Up is dhara. And one way flow move in one way. This love is moving one pointer to the highest, that is Radha. One pointer. So, that flow, like a Muladhar, In yoga, they say, no, Muladhara. Then what is Adharata? Up to Anahat. And Adhar, Anahat to there is going upper side. Right? It's not lower side. Not going from down up to down. It goes from low to high. This is what is going low to higher side and one pointed to the chakra, highest chakra. <laughs> that is Radha. Yeah. Sometimes we will see him in the fortunate condition of having direct transcendental communion with Sri Radhika. And other times we see him eagerly praying for such a communion in his sadhaka vesha. But even in that sadhaka visha, there is a strong vibration of his identity as Sri Radha's maidservant. By saying, I offer my obeisances to any direction where I may find Sri Radha, Sri Pada prays for a blessing upon all the sadhakas 
of the world who meditate on Radha Mohan's Vrindavan pastimes. Radha. That is one thing. One is sadhan bhakti, sadhana. Sadhana bhakti means sadhana. Sadhana, what you say? Devotional practice. Devotional practice. Bhakti means love in action. Bhakti means when the action is there in love. That is sad. But not under pressure. I want this. Why? Because I like this. I relate with this. And this action is happening because of my relation. That is sadhana bhakti. If you not relate, there is no any bhakti, no devotion. Unknowingly, we practice impersonal bhakti. Means no relation and no feeling. So we become dry. Sadhana, we cannot do. What is you are doing to be a relation, to develop relation and feel that relation, not block yourself in the false ego, that I got the chair, so I will control you. It's not yours. Devotion is to flow in your relations is devotion. Flow, flow. We like a water flowing. You have to flow with your relation is devotion. Action. <coughs> so what I have to do with this sadhak there? We have to remove our blockage. Why not is flowing? What is the problem inside me that flowing is blocking, stopping to me? This is only bhakti. Then when I will see what is blocking me, is my false ego. <coughs> Why? Because I'm teaching for you all, not for my practice. This is for preaching, is for others, not to do myself. Because I block with my ego that I am a guru. Guru don't need to bother for himself. He's blocking. Blockage, I create myself with my false ego. What I have to do? I have to realize and that to share with you. Realization 
start with Tanada preaching. When we will not become like a humble grass, we cannot do. So nature is not to become humble. This is not nature. Ego is so powerful, they will catch you any direction. Why? To show others to influence something. That I am different than you. That is also ego. I am different outside from you, inside I am very bad, but I show to others that I am different than you. It's a false ego. My senses, they are blocking me because outside I want to be a sadhu because my name is Sadhu. I want to show you, but my senses are so much demanding. I am busy to fulfill my senses inside. And all work for these senses to satisfy and enjoy and other thing is no meaning for me. This is my covering. This covering is a dim. This is kārya, poisonous. This is poison. Could not give me the clear reason to see. Then Kadia wife say, I will never, my mind will never become pure because you may give this poison to me, Krishna. You create poison inside. This blockage you create. Why you want to kill my husband? This blockage, you make a snake to him, you put the poison inside him, how he can give the good thing? There is only one way. When you give mercy to Kaliya, my husband, he will change. That when the wife of Kaliya prayed, then Krishna said, okay, I will not kill you. So Krishna not kill our demons. Only he can do one thing, he will dance on the head of Kaliya. He cannot remove the poison because he created. When he dance on the head of the Kaliya, his mind changed. <coughs> and then he starts praying and his poison is finished. Not to him, poison. So, if in our head Krishna is dancing, we never forget to the Lord, my ego is not disturbed. This all, Asuras is always living with me. It's like a Kadi I show you. Ahamari de Kushne no Gurila. Ham Gila Chaval Khaina Sarya Africa. So, what I say you, this Kaliya is like a devil. Many things. Trinavat, 
This is my mind. You see the air is a Trinavat. And my mind is Trinavat. Sakata Sur, the chari, is nothing, is my body. It can be Asura also. Sakata Sur. Putana, Devaki, and Jasoda. Krishna has a three mother. Universal truth. You see, there is only three mother exist. One mother give birth. Devaki. But she cannot feed the breast. Behind region, different. Devaki has the region that he identified God is coming. How she can feed the breast the God. Before milk come, he has to go to Gokula. So the breast feed her mother his mother Jasuda. And one breastfeeding mother is Putana, who put the poison in the nipple and killed the baby. There are three mothers exist in the universe. You say, you will find three mothers in this death. Who kill his baby, who has no time for feeding the milk, and one is only feeding the milk. So this all the past time, is a behind meaning in this pastime. So what I'm what is the subject? He's saying alpha male obeisances to any direction where I may find Sri Radha. By this Sri Radha prays for a blessing. Why, Alec? I will find you. Because I have to change myself. To improve from lower to higher side. And this is your nature, through love, through your energy, we can improve higher sight, one point is that. She is only one pointedness for his lover, and this lover is Krishna. And I also <laughs> like Krishna, so with any direction you will be. I will find you to follow you. I not want to live in my false ego, so I will practice to be your messenger to break my ego. It's so beautiful. I don't want to be a president <laughs> to live in my false ego. I don't want any chair for that. I want to become your dasi, your master, small self. That is my goal of practice. This is the practice desire. 
how I can serve and I useful for you, sir. Because you are my teacher and you know the way of moving. So I will find out any direction you are and I want to follow you. I am full of blockage. I have no time to find how to remove this blockage. Blockage will take whole life to clean and then again I will covered with my blockage. Why not I become your maid servant and I will find you any way, any place you are. And I want to be practice that I become your dasi. All my nature of ego will go out. That's it. That's it. The beauty in one's move, love move in this sweet direction. Very sweet way. Nothing to afford, only to accept and you will start flowing like that. Are, if you are dasi, you will not move like your boss wants. Then what type of medicine you are? What type of follow? Dasi you are. You don't can fear your boss. You cannot understand. You cannot exchange. Then what type of <coughs> servant you are to not to for understand your boss? You see the beauty of life of Jesus. He always want to be a son, not want to be a father. Because if you not no identification, how you can relate it? So he never changes identification. Now I am not one. A son will become father. Never. He merged with his father. What is many merging means and so much closeness that he can feel his father what he thinks, what he wants, what he serves, what he needs. That is a merging. Not one. And when you become one, how you will exchange love? <laughs> How son can exchange love with his father if he's one? No. Understanding become one. Feeling become one. It's too, too intense, so close to oneness. That's a love. But identification is there too. <coughs> then the beauty of yoga is there. Beauty of meeting is the beauty of understanding to radish because son is not there, how he will radish to father? If beloved is not there, how he will radish his lover? Who can feel that? Who will feel it? My identification is very important and important because to radish that. And closeness makes you to one in understanding. The manjaris, dasis are so one with the boss that no need to say something. They understand each other without exchanging. This was one. Huh? What?
Lord. Why I give this example that you understand. One means thinking is one, feeling is one, sharing is I think you understand. You think I understand. That is the oneness. Like a manjaris has to say, a kinker is nothing to say, too much closeness, <coughs> oneness. <laughs> this is the truth. That is a feeling. One may ask now, why does Sri Pada call Mohan Madhusudana? In this verse, isn't that indicating Mohan's divine prowess? And isn't that contrary to the sweet mood of the Vrindavan devotees? The answer to what this is the Vrindavan devotees? And what is the outside devotion? Vrindavan devotees want to follow love of Mother Jasoda, love of his friend, and love of his beloved. Not direct. This is Vrindavan. They no relate with Krishna direct. They relate through media of lava. You also do, but you without understanding. You also do. I see. But you don't understand. <laughs> but Vrindavan devotee, understanding that. And in the out of Vrindavan, even in Delhi and Bombay, in Calcutta, in Agra, out of Vrindavan, radius of Vrindavan, out of Vrindavan, the only devotee of the God. For the material And they are still doubting who is the Supreme. And they are only trying to research how to find Supreme. They are not fix it. And Vrindavan, they already fixed. Are yeah. He is God or not God? I don't mean this. He is supreme or not supreme? That is not his meaning. Meaning is this. This is the son of Jasoda. Son of Jasoda or not? If son of Jasuda is there, he is my friend, he is my son. That they say. You say, this is the Radhika's lover or not? Radhika loved this boy or not? If she loves Radhika, love this boy, I like it. If he is devotee, 
ओवरनाइजर ही इज ए ब्लैक इज ए चीटर इज अ लायर इज नो मीनिंग फॉर मी बिकॉज माय राधिका लाइक इट फॉर मी इज द बेस्ट मीनिंग सो देर इज नो डाउट इन दैट दिस इज द ब्रज बॉस दिस इज वृंदावन and you can see because of that krishna has a big response because to if i give you a example one man as a one beloved girlfriend yes for one day he went out for the some business and uh, he came after one month to his home place and he want to go to see her beloved he is going that he remember oh my girlfriend has a Cat and dogs. I will please. I bring some some gifts for her, but I have to buy some biscuits and some thing to please the cat and dogs. When she will see this, I I also care to the cat and dog. Then she will be more happy, and she will exchange more love to me. Then we stop the car, and we buy something for cats and dogs. And when you go in in the house, first you see the dog is coming to you, and he starts moving. Very happily after long time, he said, "Then you give the biscuit in the mouth. Then you give the cat come. Then you give to the cat. <coughs> And see, he see you. You are taking so much care. Oh my God! She is so happy. And she is so happy." Because not you are taking care of her only, you are taking care of even the cats and dogs, and this give more happiness to her. So Brajwasi think if we become cats and dogs of, of my Swami. Krishna has to take care of me. And if I am for that, I'm a cat and dog of her beloved, and he will care to Radhika and not to me. Are you not bothered? He has to. He has to bring biscuit and toffee. He might have to solve the problem. And I know many examples. They come with the one cloth here, and after one year, they have a full room of things in Bandar. Full room. They have never problem for eating and material thing. Never problem. Is my practical example. So, as per the requirement in. Brindavan. If you have many requirement, when you come to Brindavan, first thing your requirement will become less. Less. You no need to be in over comfort. You want to be less comfort. Your habits will start changing. <laughs> But it's a different subject. I will say sometimes this is story. <laughs> Slowly, it's less. You don't want. You don't want to show to others that I'm a tourist. You want to be a simple to relate with them because they are simple, and you want to be more simple to relate with them. 
this the nature of Dablav. <laughs> you see this America? He is an American. Twenty years live in America and he left everything, sell everything, property, business, job, and he come back to Vrindavan with his children, wife, everything. Nobody can understand by his simpleness. Taking care of the bookshop and you go and sit with him. You buy book or not, you sit and sit and share. Understand his realization. How deep is realization? and how he is teaching to his children. Beautiful teaching. This is Vrindavan. How you change, you don't know, but you start changing the day you come here in this land and you start breathing. <laughs> this is Vrindavan, yeah. You get everything here, everything in the lotus feet of Radhika. You are searching to God, Krishna, now you don't need to search to Him. Imagine if I become servant of Anuradha service, cleaning pot in the room, washing the plates and cleaning the flat of Anuradha and living there serving. Baldev will automatically will dance near to Anuradha and I will watch. Is natural or not? He will dance near to Anuradha because where he will sleep, where he will live, where he will eat, Anuradha will arrange to her and Baldev has to dance near to Anuradha because all will work after he has to come there. What is this? This is Radha and Krishna. Are where Krishna will go by? He has to come to home. Or not? <laughs> Only you are servant and you are watching both of them. If somebody work in your kitchen and it serve to you, your husband will see or not? He has to come to you, no? His, lo his lover has to come. And when you become servant of the God, then he will put you in the office, make you Brahma, <coughs> Shiva, Vishnu, that you do this departmental head. It must not come to my home. You are not allowed to come. You will never know him. When you are the servant in the home of the Radhika, you can relate how they exchange love also and how they, they fight also, and they are pleased, happy there. Fighting is also. And who control to whom? So you will you see in the home, Radhika is the boss of Krishna. Why don't you do this? Yeah, I will do that now. Take the car and go to bring that. Because you cannot disobey if you know the whole night is problem. 
Oh, night, you are not peaceful. So make the peace in home. You do immediately. <laughs> this is the mercy to see very closely the divine God in Vrindavan. So be a servant of Radhika, all the problem is gone. And servant of love. Love will bring you to God. But this works with the faith and your hope. If you have no faith, you have no hope. Life is hopeless. Hopeless. You can see many hopeless persons, right? No hope. They lose the hope in And when there is a love, Goal of love, you never lose the hope and never lose the faith. Then you are in right way. Many blockage will come you to block this, but they never do this. Foolish do this because they are ignorant, foolish. They block themselves in different, different egos. Croatian ego, Estonian ego, Indian ego, Swiss ego, discovered my foolishness, my, my skadia, my bhaktasur, saktasur, bhaktasur, these are asuras sitting inside. If you sit one day, I will explain what asura is, how working in me. These all asuras is created by the Creator to hold you always in the wrong way. And then how to bring out yourself only to be a servant of Radhika. He will bring to lollipop and biscuit for you. Asuras will run away automatically because there is no effect. Nam basami bhaipunte yogi nam hidanaka mam bhakta jatha gayanti this Kami Narada. One time Narada asked, where you stay, <coughs> Krishna? He said, I'm not staying in the heart of yogi or not in Bhakuntha, not any place. I only stay where my Bhakta is remembering and crying. <laughs> Yeah, Shri Krishna, who drinks the honey, Madhu, from Radha's lotus like lips. You see? There's no other business here. His business to drink honey, <laughs> like a flower. Flower. He come like a bee and take the honey. And if you want to see in real form, you have to be in your dachi form that how he come and he takes the kiss to the lips of Radhika to take the honey. This is only his job. Madhusudana who who is a drunker of madhu, honey, from the lips of Radhika. 
that is the business of this. This is the mood of Brajavasi, not out of Brajavasi, sorry. <laughs> the the Brajavasi is this, this fool boy born in the Braja. <laughs> Meet with him, move with him, then you will understand how the sweet mellow Brajavasi is. Rajivasi knows the sweetness of the This guy, Gerardo, yeah, come here. He's Italian. One day we went to the Parikrama. He was there. We went. We went to some place in the present. I don't remember that place. It was village. Uh, village. There is no any shop, any water thing, anything. And it was only land. After walking two, three kilometers, only land and some farm. And he said, I am so hungry, I cannot tolerate. I said, I'm fool of it. He has no shop to buy anything. How I can arrange anything for you? He said, I cannot tolerate. I am so hungry. <laughs> and in five minutes you asked to him, Big roti, big chapati, and the, and the, this one, Brajwasi, come and say, you like to eat? To eat? He took and crying. He, he, he took in his hand and he's crying like a baby. He know he's they're gone. He cried. The mercy, how comes in this land? Agriculture land, some chapati. And he eat like a, never eat so sweet and good thing in life. It was simple chapati and some gur. What you say? Jaggery. Jaggery. <laughs> and some sabji something. And he give, I say give us <laughs> some pieces he give and all he want to eat himself. <laughs> yes. Remember or not? I remember. <laughs> you remind me of this story. Yeah. <laughs> and crying like a baby. He said, what happened? He said, I feel this person. <laughs> he listened. Eh? And not only this cold water and everything they were washing you. There Yes. So listening. See, listen to you. This is what now. Very special. You need that reason to see it. Divine. Divine must. <coughs> the name Madhusudana also means Mohan who drinks the honey Madhu from Radha's lotus like lips. You remind you? This is good now. <laughs> you can imagine. What you cannot talk, uh, and it's publicly talked like this. <laughs> this is what now. 
they cannot hide than themselves. You can hide yourself, these things, but they no want to hide because this meditation will change their life. If you meditate in this, they are, this Krishna is kissing to the lips of Radhika and you keep this meditation in life, your life will change. This is divine reason. Once reason come in your life with Radha and Krishna, your whole life will become pure and divine, and you will get all the direct connection with the Radha and Krishna. Easy. And what is attraction? They come in this time not like a god, no god. Their pastime is narvada, like a human they behave, like you, like you, like you. What you do, they doing. They are also fighting like you, like you fight with your husband or lover. They do similar like you that you can relate very easily with them. That is Narvada Leela, like human, like you, they are acting. They are behaving like that, right or not? Not like a God. Why? But you don't understand. Because we are searching to God and we want to know God. I don't know, it's a very past old age topic you are talking. This time, Radha Krishna Leela is like a human, like you. <coughs> but with love. Without love you cannot feel it, right? You are searching God and it's not possible to search. Why are you searching? When you want to feel it, be normal and feel that is Naravad. Like me, he is doing. He also, like me, he is eating. Like me, if I feel cold, he also need jacket. If he, I need AC, he also need AC. I need resting in bed, he also need bed. You have to feel it that. Like a human, not like a god, that's it. All set. Yeah, sahi hai ki galti hai. <laughs> if you say like a god, then you keep. Like my feeling, you have also feeling, then he's close to you. Right or not? Yeah. Go on. Here only start kiss. Lips. You see, starting is the lips kiss. You see any, 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 any books? <laughs> yes. There is a madrasakam. Adram madram. Start with that. Because the business of devotion is start with lips. Wow, it's a good book. In business of lips? Yeah. Not with philosophy, through the lips. Yeah. <laughs> Change this concept of life. This material lips will become divine lips when you will meditate in divine Tattva. They are divine only by touch of Chaitanya all the world is dancing, only touching and dancing. What is the divine touch make you to dance? Mm. Meditation of divine lifts of divine couple will make you to mad. To develop this madness inside you, that is divine. So Madhurastakam, 
to start with Adram Madhura, check this book. Who write this sloka? Ballava Sampada. What is that? Yeah. The pastimes of Radha and Mohan are hardly perceived even by the kings of yogis. Yes, very hardly understanding coming, kissing word. He cannot, yogis cannot meditate. <laughs> no idea of that. <laughs> Kissing is the value of yogi. Not yogi, normal yogi. Elephant of yogi means the highest yogi cannot understand. <laughs> How they understand the value of the kiss of Radha. It's too disturbing. <laughs> Disturbance. <laughs> right? Disturbing for the meditation. He also wants to run away from the family and he wants to be yogi. <laughs> Come from America. And now he understands the value of the kiss. <laughs> then he forgets his all ideas. <laughs> this is the point here. Yeah. When you know the beauty of the value of kiss, you will meditate any moment of your life for this. You all said, any moment, five minutes in the day, <coughs> two minutes in the day, you all said, you understand the value of Madhusudana, real word of Madhusudana. <laughs> it's so simple. Why you make complicated? I don't know. <laughs> because they don't understand, then how they will explain you? <laughs> Radhe, Radhe. Understand? The pastimes of Radha and Mohan are hardly perceived even by the kings of yogis. Kings of yogis. <laughs> yeah. Like Mahadev and Lord Brahma. They cannot understand. The nature of Madhusudana. <laughs> <laughs> this is the nature of Madhusudana. Sriyade, <laughs> you all not block me here. All <laughs> day will take my <laughs> Chaitanya Charitamrita states. You see, this is Chaitanya Charitamrita. Why not you read that? Because this is so, so highest book. It's not any book is written till now. It's Chaitanya Charitamrita. Only Prabhupada can understand and explain you. No one is ready for that. Sorry to say. No one is understanding to explain you. He say one day, what is the story of Raghunath Das Goswami? I say, show me that book. Where are you talking this? I imagine. I say, no. Explain this with the practical. He is finding 
You have to know them. It's a very deep subject, deep, and understand. Please try to find today Raghunath Dasji. I will. Yes. One week is gone. <laughs> you are Raghunath Das. You have to know your meaning of the name. Yeah, go on. Chaitanya Charitamrita states, the pastimes of Radha and Mohan you see. are very confidential. Yeah. Confidential means sure to know. Confidential not is a very high subject, not to know not. What is the highest thing he has to know? Confidential. Only confidential person will know. If you are not personal, you are impersonal, you will never try to know. Because it's a confidential for only for the person who is interested. Is a public place for meeting, and one is confidential place for meeting. If you are close, you come to the confidential place to meet Swami, and one is a public gathering. You see it there. How much your closeness you meet there, right or not? Go on. They are not even perceived by Mohan's own servants. Own servant means the cowboy will not understand. Friends will not understand. How they will understand? Kishore friend, how they will understand about the family and Kishore meeting? How they can think for that? Right? Your friend can understand this. Only her maid servant will understand what you are doing, because she will watch from his side glance what is happening inside other room you are doing. She can watch, because she is watching inside your flat. But your friend cannot understand it how she fight with you, and how she console to her, and how you, you help her, and he, she help you. <laughs> yeah. Your friend cannot help. Krishna friend also cannot help. Yeah. Narvada means you are realized with your behavior and his behavior. That to come in this position, not in godly position. Sorry. If you not bring him in your position, you will never understand him. Understand? Right? Clear? You want to understand, you have to bring him in your position. Baldev, you have to bring him in your position, to feel with your position to him. This is Narvad. Narvad is like a me, he acting. Only his girlfriends can enter into it. And it is they who expand these pastimes. Yeah. Because they watch it. What is happening? And they cannot, ladies have a problem to keep some private word, private secrets. Secret. They cannot digest. <laughs> they say, I will never say to him, 
And next person, what I say, I cannot digest myself. This happened, I see this. <laughs> this is the picture of the ladies. <laughs> they cannot maintain secrets. <laughs> <laughs> they say, I will never talk this, but immediately talking, but then say, I will never talk this. You keep saying, you have my soul, I say, we will never talk it, but they talk God and all like this. <laughs> so there is no secrecy of more power. <laughs> This lady is making bad. <laughs> this is the problem. So we know these things. Anyone knows your privacy. Nobody knows. <laughs> but they, ladies, make him nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the beauty of Brajaras. <laughs> this is the beauty of Brajaras. <coughs> so gopis are very important because they they pass the privacy of Mohan and Radha. Confidential and the Dadas. You talk this to Adha? No, no, never. <laughs> just I say that. What just? No, just I say that. Is just a little bit. Something happened. <laughs> and this way it leaks out. <laughs> This book sure has to keep. He says they have to find these books. These are very, very elevated books. When you start reading, you don't need any books to read. He has a very good selection of the books. You can find it and take it for your home. And if you want to just give to someone, give, share it. Where to find? You have to always go in rasa. Rasa. Philosophy never help you. Philosophy block you. They will never give you the progress in life. Progress, why? You know, philosophy is the base for Raja Bhakti. Foundation. Foundation is the philosophy. And if anyone, so me, anyone live in the foundation, beggars live in the foundation, who has been homeless. Mm. You never live in the foundation of the building. You make them close and in flat you live. That is Raja <coughs> These poor Brajavasis, they want to be poor, but they want to live in the Raja. Mm-hmm.